After many attempts, Susan finally got her sister to agree to come and visit us in Florida. Spotted some bathing beauties here. Oh, the bathing beauties. <laughs> That's up. Now oh, this is a soft pool. You don't smell? For our first outing, we're taking a drive over to the Atlantic coast to Ponce Inlet and Daytona Beach. <laughs> Well, we're at Ponce Inlet, off the hook, and I see some people going in. Oh, got a window seat. No window, but nice view. <laughs> Driving on the beach toward Daytona, have to make sure we check out a couple of bikinis. These are not the bikinis. On the way home, we are now passing the Daytona Speedway. It's hard to realize just how huge it is. At an RV rally, Susan had the opportunity to walk the track in its steeply banked curves. All the while I've been talking, we're just now coming to the center or main entrance of the building. Linda said she was hoping to see some gators while in Florida. Well, Gatorland, here we come. Here, they have thousands of alligators of all types and sizes, as well as other local animals for a really up-close look. Here are a couple of endangered species. Oh, it looks like she took a liking to this guy. Today, we're heading to Winter Park, an affluent Orlando suburb. Okay, we are off on our morning sailing adventure. They have a great boat ride through three or four lakes linked by very narrow canals. From the boat, you can see the many exclusive homes along the shore. It has to do with the symbol of one of our food chairs. How low can you go? Now well, we're in downtown Park Avenue. 
There's a nice little Italian restaurant. So I think we should partake. The community next to us is a small town called Howie in the Hills. It was founded many years ago by the Howie family. However, after many years of abandonment and neglect, the mansion has been recently restored. This weekend, it was open for free visits. Well, it's Wednesday afternoon and after making, yeah, after shopping at five or six stores, <laughs> we finally got enough stuff to make. What are we making? Enchiladas. Enchiladas. So she's been slaving all afternoon. I, I take it this is chicken here, right? To make the enchiladas? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that looks ugly. But that's <laughs> refried beans. beans. I guess their doodle look ugly. <laughs> It was a great meal. Today was just a relaxing day spent around the house. Today, we headed over to the St. Johns River. It's the longest river in Florida, about 310 miles, and it flows from the south north. We took an eco boat tour. It wasn't very exciting, but the captain surely could talk. The highlight of the trip was dinner. Well, it's Sunday morning and we oh. have chicken pot pie in the making. <laughs> and I have the pleasure of doing nothing. Oh, she's got the chicken going. <laughs> Two sticks of butter? Yeah. Holy cow. Make it good. Good flavor. <laughs> Starting to look like a pie. Looks like a pie. Chicken pot pie. Covering them up, putting a little blanket on, <laughs> keep them warm. Okay, these are ready to go in the oven later this afternoon. Okay, there is the finished product. Friends Janet and Andy joined us for dinner. On Linda's last full day, we drove west this time to the Gulf Coast and to Tarpon Springs, settled by the Greeks and famous for its sponges. Well, it's actually noontime, and we're in Tarpon Springs, getting ready to take a two-hour boat ride. along a reef to protect their nose or their rostrum area. All right, we're docked at a little island. I'm going to do a little shelling and getting our feet wet, sandy. Okay, 
Okay. Well, Susan's checking out the shells. Greek restaurant. Thank you. Just be very careful to store this super high. They just collected all these sponges over the last two weeks. Time to leave. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you next year. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're at the airport. Oh, you oh, no. yeah. All right. Alaska Airlines. Be home in six hours.